What is up guys? Welcome back. Um, today we got the truck back in the garage again. Um, I think today just do, I have a lot of stuff to do this weekend or today I should say, but I'm going to split up to probably two videos, maybe three, see how it goes. Um, but right now we're going to focus on removing the rear sway bar out of the truck. And then we're going to adjust the torsion bars up front to pick the nose up. And then we are going to try and test fit some new wheels and tires that I picked up last night after work. So let's get into trying to lift this truck up in the front with the torsion bars. Okay, so we just went around and measured our gaps on all four corners of the truck. Um, for some reason, I can't find another tape measure and the only one I have is in uh is in centimeters so you know it'll still give us an idea that we're off it's just weird that it's in centimeters not inches but anyways we uh or i should say i measured from the best i could from the top of the tire to right about where the fender starts on the straight parts of the fender roll so kind of where it's level the best and we have 10 centimeters or four inches um, up front on either side and it's even and that's our fender gap. In the rear we have um, 13 centimeters on the driver's side and 12 and a half on the driver. Not quite sure why there's like a half a centimeter off between the two. Could just be the way the truck's sitting. So what we'll do now now that we know our gaps, we'll jack the front of the truck up and look at the torsion bars and try to bring the nose of the truck up and at least match the best we can the rear so it doesn't look like it's sitting in a nosedive. Um, I'm not going to clock the torsion bars this go around. There shouldn't really be a need to clock the torsion bars. We'll just do it again in a couple weeks when I get... Um, my lift kit put together so right now we'll just level the truck and then we'll have to do it again I've already gone ahead and did this once and I got it fairly close but we're gonna have to do this a second time I'm off by like half a centimeter on this side but this is what you're looking for this is your cradle for your torsion bar which is right here that runs to the front lower control arm and basically what you're doing is you're running that bolt right there up cranks the torsion bar which then pushes that down and lifts the front of the truck. Um, what you're going to do, and they're already loose, let's see if I get it from the other side. You're going to loosen this top nut and this will be your locking nut which is a 19. This one if you have to move it, I don't know if you do or not. I moved it. Oh, would you look at that? Um, I moved it a little bit, but I don't really think it matters if you move it or not. Um, but those are both going to be 19, and then your bottom one right here is also 19. So we're going to go ahead, loosen that up a little bit so you have a gap, and then. Yeah. Uh, and take your impact. We'll take our 19 and crank this down a little bit more. And then, uh, ouch. I only needed like half a centimeter or whatever on this side. So we'll try that. We won't tighten it yet. We'll just drop the truck back on the ground, roll it back and forth to let the suspension settle, and then we'll measure again. And then if it's all correct, then we'll lift it back up and then come through and tighten it. So let's go ahead and do the same on the other side. Now we're all done. I'm happy with where it's at right now. I had to go back under like two or three more times. 
and crank the passenger side to kind of get everything to sit level. So this is what we ended on. So we started at four inches in the front and we lifted it uh, an inch and a half to level it. So we have now five and a half inches from the tire to the lip of the fender. Now, another way you can double check yourself is um, just in case if like your fender's a little wonky or whatever, like mine is on the other side. So the way that you can check yourself, and I did this on my last truck, was measuring from the ground right here to your door seam on the bottom. And up front, we leveled it out at 20 inches from the ground to the top of that door seam on either side. So we're level in the front, and I'm gonna call that good. Now, in the rear, we started out with five inches, and we, obviously not touching just by doing the torsion bars, so we started with five inches and ended at 5.7 inches front to back or uh, side to side. And then another way to double check that was the same thing from the ground to the door seam right here. Uh, we are 21 inches. So that means front to rear, we're only off at an inch. We're 20 inches in the front, 21 inches in the rear. So we're only an inch off of it being like perfectly level. So for me right now, that's good enough. We're gonna call that. So I'm gonna go back under and tighten those bolts up. We're gonna call it good. And then we'll move to the rear and we're gonna disassemble the rear sway bar. Okay, well, I don't know if you guys can see me that well or not, but we are now in the back of the truck. We are almost done with what we're gonna do today. So, yeah, so for right now, we're going to take out the rear sway bar. Um, this will just help us give a little bit more articulation in the rear of the truck while off-roading. Um, I did it in my last truck. It never really affected highway driving. I would suggest to never take out the front sway bar unless it's solely an off-road rig. You definitely don't want to drive on the highway with one of these things with big tires and lifts without a front sway bar. So we're just going to disconnect the rear. You're going to have two 14s right here and on the opposite sides on the axles and then they'll be 114 right there disconnecting it you can take it off right here if you want to but there's no reason so we'll just take off the one up here and the four down here and then the one on the opposite side so let's go ahead and take those out and be one more step closer one step closer being done i don't know let's just go ahead and take it out Now on to the piece that I'm most excited about. So we are getting rid of these. These are stock Xterra tire or wheels with just some generic all-terrain tires. They are 245 75 17, which is a 30 and a half inch tire. Now, what I picked up last night. some light on them were these now these are race lines they are a zero offset uh, 17s with some Toyo AT2s uh, which I'm very excited about I got a 
hell of a deal on these. So these are a 265-70-17, which equals 31.6 inch tire. So basically for me to feel good, we are going from a 30 to a 32. Yeah, I'll go ahead and say that. Um, but yeah, so the end goal for this truck, I want to run 33s. So 31.6, almost 32s uh, is fine for now. But the end goal, I want to run 33s, 34s, maybe even a 35. Um, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and slap this on. So there you have it, they are on. They look amazing. I just went and washed them up real quick so I could see what they look like. And they look really good on this truck. Um, this color after I washed it, I don't know why, like I don't like red, but then it grows on me. Had to do some trimming of the bumper right here. And then we did, we did some massaging of the rails back here and trim the fenders on both sides don't really care because i want to replace both these fenders anyways because they're garbage um but other than some minor rubbering issue that we clearanced out seems to be running great i am absolutely in love with them um i do know uh i'm one lug nut short on all four they only sold in packs of 20 and they didn't have an extra so tomorrow we'll swing by AutoZone or something like that and grab four extra ones and put them on I won't leave this like this so we'll go grab some extra ones that'll be it for this video and uh, we'll just move on to the rest of our day with installing a new or a uh, new radio and front door speakers and finishing up some of the extra lights that we got so we can go home for Christmas and so yeah so stay tuned for that we'll start that right now and like always like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one